Hey everybody, welcome to our fourth and final week of this pattern of repeats. We are going to be doing another three segments. Today's our upper body day. I have a set of eights. In the past, I was using um, tens for my T rays, but I'm going to go ahead and cut to eights. Last week, I recall really struggling to feel it in the right, uh, right parts. I'm going to do a set of 30s. I'm going to grab a set of 20s, and then I'll have my uh, 15s as well for those side raises. All right, we are going to start standing. So bring your arms out to the side, all the way up, deep breath, lift up out of the shoulder blades, grab your left arm and pull to the right. Swoop all the way down. So keep pulling, 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 pulling all the way. Keep holding that arm back up. Oh, the other side feels so good. Bring your arms down, up again. Grab your right arm with the left. Pull toward the left. Keep pulling on that hand around, 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 around. And up. Bring your arms behind. Interlace your hands behind the back, open through the chest, and then hinge forward over those legs, allowing your arms to fall off your back, and then pull left and right. Perfect. All right, let's take a wider base of support. So I'm going to go just outside my mat width here. If you can, plant onto your fingertips. Otherwise, grab one of your dumbbells and you can bring the floor kind of elevated up to you. And we're gonna rotate the arms up to the right, up to the left. So you can go whatever pace you would like. And then walk those arms forward and plant your feet in the back for your downward facing dog. Drop your left heel toward the ground, let your right knee bend. Make sure that you have that nice wide open hand pushing into your thumb and first finger. Now drop onto the right side. I know I say it a lot, but just in case you're unclear, we have a tendency to rock to the outside, the pinky side of the wrist. And we really need to level off getting some support through the thumb and first finger. So when you get that pointing that first finger straight ahead and then kind of suction cup, then you have a lot more support for your wrists. So you're kind of creating a little bit of an arch like you have in the, in the foot to support your feet and all of those angles. Okay, drop onto your knees. We're gonna stretch the wrists and we're gonna get after it. Bring your shoulders forward over the fingers. Make a little circle to the left. Now make a little circle to the right. Okay, turn your fingertips around to point at your knees. Sit back on your heels. And then turn your wrists around. Palms are facing up towards your armpits. And then you're going to point your elbow pits forward. And then inward, forward, and inward. All right, back to our downward facing dog. Shake out the wrist real quick. I'll do that. Okay, downward facing dog. <laughs> up and back. We're going to do those down dog shifts. So remember how we want to stay on our hands, pushing into the knuckles, tuck your tailbone, your belly is strong. This is three. This is great for shoulder mobility as well. Okay, after this one, we're going to keep going. But now we reach back with the left and then forward. Oh, I always forget. You need a wider, wider toe base there. Two. This is a super important part and moment to have that wrist taken care of with those wide fingertips. Other side. Five. Four. Trying your best not to shift in the hips. Three. It's going to happen. I know I'm doing it but as little as possible. And we're going to do our awkward plank now. So lift your opposite arm and your opposite leg simultaneously. Three, 
four, five. And then our super plank, tuck under, keep your shoulder right over the wrist. Three, four, and five. All right. Okay, we're gonna get our back flies. So remember that we have our rep ranges today, eight to 15 reps. So our back fly to start, elbows come out, then pull back together. So this is a bent elbow fly. So you go a little heavier, get a little more flexion between your scapula into those rhomboids. It doesn't really matter how high the elbows come. What matters is that you're getting into the back. Solid base of support with those legs. Stay lengthened through the back. Last one for me. There we go. Now remember, if you don't have access to very heavy weights and you're getting stronger, go ahead and hit some extra reps. All right, we have curls, press, and tees. Eight to 15, that's our rep range. Chest is tall. Keep your elbows at your side. Core holds firm. Keep your knees soft. Five. Keep your pelvis neutral. Seven. And eight. All right. I'm gonna give my forearms a little, little break, a little stretch. And then we're gonna go up overhead. Six, keep the core strong so the hips don't push forward. Keeping your pelvis neutral. That's what I got. All right. T raise is coming up. Then our side raise. Grab those 15s. All right, see how these feel. Get nice and far forward. Make sure you have that neutral back. Your pinkies are together. Make sure you can control the drop back to the bottom. All right, 12. Side raise, back into those shoulders. Tough to go, back to back to back. Arms, small muscle group, they get tired quickly. So take whatever amount of time you need to get a good next set, to be able to hold, your form, stay out of your neck. Five. 
Hold flexion in your upper back to support your shoulders. There it goes. Okay. Heading to the ground, we are going to get our chest fly and then our tricep press. Use my 20s. See how it goes. I did really like how it felt at the end of last week. I switched to 15s. Could get a, a much wider fly with my elbows. Let's see here. I'm gonna manage my space a little better. Okay. Uh, be careful picking them up. That's when you can do something funky. Shoulders or elbows. All right, feel free to lift the hips if you'd like. Make sure your core stays strong. Okay, start with strong wrists. They stay strong too. Elbows stay soft. Open as wide as you can. So the goal would be to get those elbows to stay in the same angle all the way down and all the way back up. Rolling the shoulders back. Engage through your serratus anterior, so the muscle underneath and behind your armpit. Help support those shoulders, especially in this angle. One more for me. Uh, feeling those pecs. Definitely get back into the biceps a little as well. All right. For my tricep press, go ahead and get my 30s. Give them a shot. So with your triceps, keep your elbows in tight. If you have access to a bench, feel free to use that here too. So you can sit on it, hinge forward, grab the bells, lower down. Can be a little <laughs> more conducive, especially as you start picking up heavier and heavier weights. I can show you what that looks like eventually. All right. Still keeping those strong wrists. Still keeping the stability in your back. Push with your triceps. So really focus on that push coming from your triceps, the back side of your upper arm. <sighs> Last one. All right, beautiful. We're gonna thread that needle. <clears throat> Okay, bring your left arm up super high and then slide it under. Stretch through that shoulder and your mid back. So once you pull your hips back to the left, you're getting that thoracic spine, right arm up, slide under, rotate. Okay, push those hips up and back, down dog shifts. Now, if at any time you need to adjust what you're doing here, you can do, you can stay on your knees. You can keep your down dog shifts, not even worrying about the reaches. Okay, here's five. Don't forget those strong wrists. Pushing into that thumb and first finger. Three. <laughs> Trying to see how much I'm tilting. Four, there we go. If I think about over, kind of trying to tilt actively the other way, that helps. Three, four, five. Okay, now our awkward plank. Okay. 
this does feel awkward. <laughs> and five. Now our super plank. All right, back five. Arms should be tired. We want to feel the back. So minimal arms, right? They're working, but really it's that upper back that's doing the work for us, taking the load. Hinge forward, find your neutral spine. Build your back. Curls. Whew. Low grade heart rate for sure. Keep your chest tall, brace with your back. We need that strong upper back. Support the shoulders, keep them from slumping down against that load on the arms. I got three to go. Seven. Oh, they are tired. One at a time. Eight, eight, Whew. all right, stretch those out, it's okay, biceps are, I mean they're muscle, and muscle's good, but kind of just visual, more important to have that strong press, strong back, Okay, remember, go ahead, jump ahead. If you're ready, you do not need to wait for me. Do a few burpees if you'd like between. Not quite what I got last time, that's okay. Let's see, I'm gonna use those for flies in a bit so I'll keep them ready. Okay, tease, tease inside. Much better in that upper back. Less on the shoulders. All right. Side raise, but remember we want that upper back flexion. Pretend you're standing on a wall. You're stacked up against it. Eight. Ooh. Eight. All right. 
lie down, take a little stretch first, reaching those arms back. Go ahead and bring your elbows out, goal post. Let them get a nice little stretch there. All right, make sure you have all the space you need. Your choice if you would like to hit up your glute bridge, core is engaged, upper back supportive. Bring them right back up over the chest. They know, don't need to float up towards your neck. There's mine. Okay. Triceps. Keeping the wrists nice and strong over the elbows at the top and hold right over those shoulders. Brace with that back. Last set. And then we get those mountain climbers. A little low on time. Okay. Here we go. Five down dog planks. Let's hit this whole round five of everything. Because I want to get all that Tabata. But of course, same. If you would like to do more reps, jump ahead. Maybe you don't need as much transition time. Five. Then you hit more reps if you like. Two. Three. And five. Okay. Awkward plank. Come on. Four. Five. Oh. Now tuck under. Oh my goodness. By the time I get to the end of those, I am feeling that core. All right. Okay, five flies. Unless you want to go more, challenge your weight selection. So if you've already been challenged, stick with it. Otherwise, build up, curls, five, four, three, two, elbows stay back, one, let them drop, Three, four, five, 
I don't know if you could tell or not, but that left arm was a struggle. Side raise. Oh, I can barely hit anything without a transition. Gosh. Oh, I like exploring. Be all noisy. Okay, chest flies. Open nice and wide. Feel your chest, those pecs engage. Bring those weights right up over your chest. Beautiful. Okay. Now, tricep press. Don't forget how you get in. And out of every move is just as important as the move. In fact, a lot of times that's where problems arise because you're not as focused. Four, five. Okay. These mountain climbers are going to be brutal, but we can do it. If you need a transition and do a high knees, totally fine. Do your best. Okay. Four minutes and we'll stretch. Ready, set, and go. I might not start too fast. That's okay. Again, pay attention to those wrists, the palms. Three, two, one. Okay, actually, didn't start too bad. Three, two, and go. Set two. Three, two, one. All right, already getting tougher. Three, two, and go. Three, two, one. Get that mental drive and go. Three, two, one. Already halfway there. Ready, and go. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. 
Ready? And go. Three, two, one. All right, three fourths in, two rounds to go. Three, two, and go. Feeling that core, hamstrings, shoulders are actually okay. Heart rate. Three, two, one. One left. Ready, set, and go. Three, two, one. Good job. All right. We, let's see, stay here. And we're going to stretch our shoulders. So lie on your side. We're going to do our book opener around the world. So stack your knees. And hands, if you're on your left side, right arm. Hopefully, you can rest your head right on your thumb. Reaches. Really reach, really reach. <sighs> Open all the way. All the way. All the way. Okay, so there. Fully open. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Now, bring your right arm back just until... You have biggest stretch. Hold. And then rotate back around. And we're going to do the other side. Rotate to your right. Stack your knees. Stack your arms. Hopefully you can rest your head. Scrape that left thumb. Reaching. Reaching, reaching. So you allow your chest to open so that the shoulders, the shoulder girdle is on the ground. Now reach behind, back to where you had your best stretch. Couple of breaths. And then reach all the way back around. Whew. All right, we are going to come into a shoulder stretch, so sit down and put your hands behind you with your fingers pointing, your glutes. Okay, plant onto your feet. You can stay here and just open the chest, stretch the shoulders, or lift up your hips and draw forward. Opening that chest, rolling the shoulders back. Get that stretch through, a little stretch through the wrists as well. Okay, take a seat. Put the soles of your feet together. And then take your left hand outside, your right leg, plant on your right hand, lift the chest and twist. Other side. All right, you're gonna get that back stretch. So take your dumbbells and set them in front of you. And you're gonna plant your hands on the belt. So the hands will just be raised up a little bit, allowing the chest to drop deeper. You can also do this on a wall. So you can plant your hands on a wall, put your legs straight back behind you and let the chest drop. So you're getting that stretch, a little bit of arch through the mid back. Oh, it feels so good. 
drop your left shoulder down and then the right. Okay, come up to standing. Bring your thumbs up and out, open the chest. And then reach one arm up and over, lengthen through the side, other arm up and over, lengthen through the side, hands behind the back, push away from you. So as we strengthen and build muscle, it takes space and things can get tight. Please, please don't cut back on stretching, rolling, keeping your mobility so that you can show up again tomorrow. Great job. Another day down. I'll see you tomorrow.